guys, DIY Teardrop J here. Getting ready to get started on this 4x8 Ben Roy um, for the group. Um, just a basic shell on this one. Waterproof shell is all I'm doing. Just a little disclaimer before we get started. The way I build them and the way you build them are completely two different methods. Um, I'm not saying my way is right. I'm not saying your way is right or wrong. I'm just going to explain to you how I build them and I hope that you would tweak your design or my design and make it what you want. Be sure you guys understand how to use power tools and use the proper protection equipment when using them. Gloves, glasses, earplugs, everything. Don't play with these things. It's not worth it. So, without further ado, here we go. Buckle up, because we're about to get started. All right, well here you go. Got the trailer back from the fabricator. We're going, we've had a bunch of welds put in it and it is now safe to build on. So the first thing I do, I'm gonna lay the plywood down on the camper. And then what I'm going to do is these frames, most frames, already have pre-drilled holes. So what I'm going to do is we are going to take from the underside and mark where your holes are for your lag bolts or whatever you plan on using. I've already done this. And then what you do is you flip it over and you drill. Now what I like to do is while I'm under there, is go ahead and mark everywhere where you're going to be able to attach to your frame. So I have some cross supports added, so there's some cross supports under there in these locations. My holes are drilled, and which is right there. Holes are drilled, all the frame markings are marked, so I know where everything lies. Then you just take and you, you flip it over and this is what you have. So now you know exactly where you're going to drill your drill holes and exactly where your frame rails are. So it kind of makes uh, laying out your floor structure a whole lot easier um, if you know where everything's at. Easy way so you don't have to measure. Okay, now let's lay out the 2x4s. Now that you've got all that done, you can go ahead and put your 2x4s up like I've done here. Um, I'm going to show you how I transfer them holes to the 2x4. I've already got the, the lumber cut um, because once it's in place like I have it here, you can take a measurement and actually uh, go ahead and cut all your cross supports. So the way I do it, we're just going to do this the easy way. I think it's the easy way. Switch hands with the camera here. you're going to have your hole that you had before which in my case is right here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my drill bit and just go ahead and just make a little mark in it so you can see what's on your 2x4 you flip your 2x4 over and there's your mark right here all right now we're going to drill the hole what I normally do is I'll take a, because this is going to be your bottom side, so I'm going to take a smaller drill bit and make the hole all the way through. You don't want to go crazy. You, you don't want it to be too big because you won't be able to countersink your bolts. So just keep in mind that this is the bottom side of your board. So we've got the hole there, so now you put the board over, and there's where this bit came through. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and make the hole so I can countersink the bolt and it don't interfere with the floor.
Now we've got the countersink. Now I'm going to open the small hole for the size of the bolt that I'm using. Put her in place. Grab your bolt. Make sure it fits. Have this all dry fitted. There's no glue, no screws, no nothing. So there's that bolt I just put in. I did the same thing for the side rails and you do the same thing for any bolts you want to put on the middle rails. But then I take and I take all my boards, put them in and drive it. Make sure everything fits perfectly before you glue or screw it. Now not only am I going to use these bolts that I have, I'm also going to use probably about a hundred self-tapping screws so eight bolts plus a hundred self-tapping screws I'm pretty sure that this thing will never go anywhere and there you have it all dry fitted ready to go on the trailer okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all these back off now that I know everything fits and I know it fits on the trailer everything works the way it's supposed to I'm gonna pull all this back off and what I'm going to do is glue everything. The long pieces, the short pieces, everything. Glue it to the plywood, screw it to the plywood, and make sure it's good and secure. Then, if you want to insulate it, you throw the insulation in your cavities right here. This happens to be an inch and a half thick. They sell inch and a half thick insulation, so it's real easy. Cut it to size, drop it in place. I always glue it. You don't have to, but you get where I'm going. Now, if you glue or want to paint the underside of your camper, the bottom of the floor, now is the time to do it before you bolt it to the frame. You can paint it with fence post paint, you can paint it with latex exterior paint, and a good primer, that's usually what I do. Or you can leave it naked. The only time the bottom of your camper is going to see water is when you're traveling down the road. If you leave it open, it has a chance to dry out. Last thing you wanna do is trap moisture. So, now I'm going to uh, go ahead and pull this all back off and glue it. And then I'm going to go ahead and permanently mount it to the trailer.
and that is pretty much that. I'm gonna back it out here, give you a little look. And yes, uh, there's definitely some more securing to do. I'm gonna zip probably about 50, 60 self-tapping screws into the frame as well. The bolts would do the majority of the holding. What they don't hold, the self-tapping screws will. So fill the void with insulation. If that's what you want to do, top it off, you know, with a sheet of plywood, and you are ready to build. Now, well, that's it for this video. I'll get you any other one here real soon. I'm going to keep going on it and get it done, and we're going to hang the walls next. All right, until next time. <laughs>